Hi everybody, I got a request to do this room mild dog static analysis. Basically this one is perform the uh, static analysis on malicious documents. So we do a couple of them. We do um, PDF, we do an office and one note. I think it's three document. Okay, when you start the machine, of course you have this uh, Remax uh, machine. I don't know why it's too small. Uh, if you if you try even uh, I know what, what uh, I'm not sure what exactly here, but we can go through SSH. So uh, of course the document we're trying to do the docs and all of that. So let's start the room. It's better to SSH to it to SSH. Username is ramnex at ten dot oops ten dot ten dot one password is malware I was on the machine now for testing so we are there so clear we have this we have this folder so we have a desktop we have one note some script VNC or oh, VNC server okay we did that no Initial access spread phishing, that's maybe of time. This document will get sent by email, spread phishing, very common cyber attack targeting specific individual. Uh, if we go to uh, ATTCK, we can see spread phishing and all of that is one known tactic. So, uh, so many uh, threat actors known to use it is um, to use it is Fancy Bear ATP28. 34, 29, all of that, you can read about them. Malware found in social media documents. Okay, they give us some example a trick bot, uh, key bot. So you can always go and check them. So, a modern malware variant which is prime use as downloader for other malware. So, we can. So, this is more information here. So, from which family does the Loki malware belong? Loki, Loki, where is Loki? Loki, Loki is already tell you is a malware. We can check there too. That's not Loki. Why is a coin ticker? Uh, I think link is uh, is wrong or what? Loki, search for Loki. Loki. Oh, what is new page for Loki? In any case, they give us is Loki is a ransomware family that is often spread through malicious email attachments. So we know it's a ransomware. So this is straightforward. What is the sub technique idea signed to spreadsheet attachment? Uh, what, is, what is spreadsheet? Spreadsheet attachment. We have uh, that's the idea of it. So depend on the CCK. So this is more introduction. You can read about them. So now let's do this <coughs> document and their malicious use. Of course, the well-known document is the PDF, one of the dangerous ones. We have the docs, the Microsoft Word document can be used to deliver malware. Always this macro is always this macro for doc. Excel is, what the hell is uh, Excel. Excel spreadsheet can also be used. It's always macro, macro, macro. PPT presentation. XML, there is, if you did try a couple of rooms, there is, uh, what do you call that XML? Uh, what that attack of XML? XML poisoning? No, not poisoning. I forgot. One note is again, of course, I don't use them really. Um, my computer is Linux, so all of this, um, I didn't use them for long, long time. So, any case, uh, good reading there. Now, here we start. We can the, the whole point of this room. The good about it is give you different tools you can save to yourself in case you need them in the future. So it's a PDF document, for example. Struct of PDF document is always the PDF header. The header is the first line PDF, give you the version, then of course the body, the objects and all of that. The body of PDF file contains series of objects that are organized in specific structures. This object is defined by an object number. So object one, object two. PDF cross-reference table. The, the cross-reference table is the table to provide the map of the location of all objects. 
So it's more it's a technical thing how the PDF structured for us. We'll have tools to extract this information later. And then the PDF trailer. The trailer is the last section of the PDF file and provide information about document. Okay, so this is the, the end. Now we have explored different sections. Now we get action. PDF keyword, JavaScript, ls, name, file, name, that most. Let's plus some important keywords that have specific usage when the PDF open action this is what we later on i think we need the embedded file show all the other file embed within pdf here are submit formal launch okay all these things now for us now uh, so where we are now he says go to the desktop let's go to the desktop uh, simple.pdf open it with known let's try if we can open it with uh, vim i don't want to go do that uh, that funny small screen. I still don't get it. Why? Why this screen is too small? Uh, these things. I don't know what uh, is going there. It seems Vim can read it, so we can play around it for now. Okay, we can see he can open it the same as uh, as. Uh, so if we go now, let me. I don't like mute the tab. So. Uh, it will open a PDF document in text format and we will be able to recognize the structure component present in the document. So we can see where is object 1, end of object. So that's object 1, 0. So what mean this is object number 7? Okay. So we open it in Vim so you can open it with none or any of us. Uh, what the hell? So you can see, oh, where is the trail? Uh, Microsoft, why is it Microsoft Word there? Uh, Adobe, okay, this is Adobe. What's the question? Who is the author of the simple, the author? This information should be in the top. Type. Where is this author now? Author, Ben. Oh, this is the author, B-E-N. Mr. Ben. Don't tell me the room create. Oh, it's not a room creator, okay. Okay, let's see what we have now. Let's examine a simple the PDF. This PDF now you can use. Uh, so we open it with. You can open it with Notepad. I don't know. You can move it to your computer or I don't know. But for me, it's clear. Now I can see the same things with Vim. So, uh, structure. So. If we examine the document throughout, we can do the font details. The PDF version. Uh, where is the PDF version? It's there. The author name. We have the author Ben. Uh, the objects. All these objects down here. Uh, of course, now we we need the fancy tools to do these things. So let's try the PDF. PDF ID PY. Let's simple PDF. No, it's okay. Tell me that there is an 18 object. Uh, stream fine. What is encrypt zero? There's no encryption. There's one page. Uh, stream this document contains three streams that need to examine. Where is the streams? Or oh, this one. So the streams are three. And what are the streams? And then GS JavaScript, JavaScript you have one, so you need to check these two. And open action in case you click something or whatever, and production we have one, so we have one. So we know, so this PDF, PDF give us straight, nice, nice, nice. Tool, now the next one to use is the PDF parser PY. This, that's why sometimes I like, uh, most of the time I like uh, work through rooms because you get experience hacker right your room and tell you the tools so you don't need to google and to minify so you can save this information your in your uh, notes and then you can use them in the future so it's a very handy tool that is used to pass the pdf search object filter so let's try that pdf parcel okay let's get the help they're all the same oh it's too many things Version, reference, start, extract, what to extract in here, X extract, okay, let's try what we can use here. Uh, no, this the PDF parser, we throw it, no. simple PDF, okay, we can do more because too much information. 
Okay, it's given us the same as uh, what we did be with Vim, so we can see the author is here. Object 1. Open. Where is that open action? You see it. Object 1. Open action 60R. And then type reference in. Okay, let's list. This to retain all objects it find within the PDF document. Let's use the search option to retain only uh, object that contain one action. Okay, let's Q, press Q to quit, to uh, quit, and then PDF parser. Let's search uh, open action. I forgot. So it tell us. This is the open action. What uh, open action? What it do? Uh, language type catalog mark true metadata view preference open action six zero or what? What that mean? Let me see what that means. The output show an object one. Yeah, that's an object one. Which contain the keyword open action, which is then reference to object six. So open action six. We can use the object now. Let's do object PDF parser. Now let's get this object six. What is it? Object six in simple PDF. Let's get this six. So we have this information now. Uh, project six. What is oh Java? So we have some funny number here. Uh, you think? Uh, Let's guess. Can this? Oh, it doing something. He saw it. Up alert. So this is a pop up. Okay. Uh, the board push an object set which contains the Java C code. The last two results conclude that when this PDF document is open, open action will trigger result in. So it, the, the trigger is clearly what it do. It. Uh, it pop up up alert so it pop up this um, I think that's the flag there and then let's now if we search for JavaScript JavaScript it give us the same so we can also search for object content JavaScript keyword using the command and we have the same script we have there Okay, so we know there's one thing. There's a pop-up now when you open it. Or then there's another tool. Let's check the other tool. Let me put this middle of the screen so when pif PDF. Let's pif. That's a nice, nice little pif pip pip PDF. Pip PDF simple. What it give us this one? Let's see what it gave. Oh, yeah, this one is a bit thinking. He's thinking. PPDF is not to PDF analyze used to determine if there is any malicious element in the document. Oh, see, this one is analyzing, not like the other ones. The other one may just give you the data. So let's see what it says. It said SHA, it give us. Uh, I still don't know what the stream, why reference mean is like the JavaScript. No, it's not the JavaScript. And then we have here what it say. Open action we have one uh, JavaScript one reference to object six. I think this is the uh, the objects. So the hashes, the number of object reference to the object list of species element like JavaScript action. Okay. Let's now use the interactive. Oh, it has interactive. Okay, PDF. Pip PDF minus I simple PDF. Now we are in. What help it give us? Byte. Uh, we have the GS code, the open, the search, the stream. Let's see if we can play with it. Now we know it's uh, the script in object 6. So let's say object 6. Where is object 6? Why is hiding it? Oh, this one is automatically uh, is automatic decoded. So 
from hex so so this this little tool is nice this pip pip things so it gives you straight uh, the information this is not only showed objects but also decode it it should actually just hmm. let's use let's use the extract gs let's extract so we just uh, type it uh, alone Oh, you extract GS. Oh, it's still, it gives you straight. Oh, nice. Now, what is the flag? Oh, where do you have the flag? Uh, it's this one. Now, how many open action objects were found? Remember, we, we, we have this. Where is that open action? Action, it's, it's one. We have it there, we saw it in different of them. How many encoded objects were found in document? Encoded, encoded... Mm, uh, within, there was no encoded object, because where is that... Uh, encoded, it means encrypted, I think, that's what he mean. Let's try zero and see what happened. No. So encoded you mean uh, the one that we decoded ourselves. In it's not encrypted. Encoded it mean one. So the one that we did know. How many encoded objects? So it must be one. Kidding me. GS1, GS action form. Huh. Uh, ten, 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 ten. No, Houston. What that uh, encoded object? This, this our uh, our friend here. He said, "What's the question again? How many uh, objects help?" Encode, encode. Usage, encode variable, encode file, encode row, encode string. So this encode doesn't search; it search for. Uh, hmm. Encode objects. Let me see. Can you list the object? Exit. Object with GS code is six. Open action is one. Stream is three. Encoded. Oh, what's the answer? Two. But but where where they are? Number is fifteen and eighteen. So, but uh, I'm not sure what uh, I'm getting confused there. Well, there's no space. Uh, fifteen and eighteen encode encode the two. But it's only one we find. So the app alert and JavaScript, that's the encode, so why can't it two? And it's in six. How many objects? I can't lie to you what exactly you mean here. How many encode objects were found? How many objects first place? Uh, we have 18 objects. Let's play around. Let's go in. Give me object 15. What's object 15? 15. Let's see what's on 15. Oh, this is what it means encoded, so we can't read it. Yeah, you can see his numbers. Because if I say object six, for example, I can read it. Object five, uh, five I can see it. So, but fifteen and eighteen are encoded. You can see quit. Uh, uh, press what? Q. 
Q exit ok now so we understand the encoding so that's fine let's now go to our friend Meldoc static analysis uh, analysis javascript ok uh, let's go through the scenario after analyzing initial pdf document a genius socanus has extracted an Im the embedded javascript and handed it over to you to have a detailed look at the code ok where, where is it your task as a CEO to level 2 analyst will be to examine the JavaScript code, the obfuscate if possible, and extract IOCs that whatever, whatever, skimming through the JS code. Okay, the JS code, it's in this, not in desktop, it's in Remix JavaScript LS, so we have that. I don't know why you keep say open it with uh, with uh, what note. I can't open it with one note. Let's open it with our Vim. Hey, remarkable library pool, mini wherever, wherever. Uh, what is this? The code has the following characteristic. It is very complex and time consuming to analyze. It contains random variable. It contains. This is simple text, and then what funny part? And then funny, 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 funny. So it has too much storage. Okay, let's see what we have here. We'll use box.js, run the command. Let's use our friend box.js. Box.js embed code. Let's see what it gives us. Box32 to perform, analyze, and execution of JavaScript code in a controlled environment so this is very oh that's nice nice it was primarily designed to analyze the issues of the file and and understand their behavior what exactly he got oh he tell us where you can see it's uh, the javascript is trying to connect outside so this to run JavaScript, the control environment, and return IOC find during execution. It also creates a subfolder. That, subfolder. Let's see. Oh, it gives us the result embed. That result. So that's what you find. I see JSON URL. Okay. 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 Uh. So cd ls what's that number 5 let's see what that 5 thinks so what's just uh, the same file ok let's see what he has uh, vim analysis dot analysis dot log so that's the the link is trying to go there what else we have the iuc.json what's that file description oh he tell you what he's doing description url description url that's the url they keep trying to get aris okay that's good 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 in summary, Box.js is one of the very useful tools that investigate use of examine complex JavaScript code quickly. It is what is the name of the dumped file that contains information about the URL? Huh? Oh, the dump. You can see it's the name already there. Vim URLs to JSON. Oh, that's what we have. So the the file is url.json so okay so this software this script that we use in box.js give us that so we can read the url so how many urls were extracted to javascript 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we have 9 url this is the 9 of them what is the the full URL which contain the keyword slideshow? Slideshow. Slide. I can't see. 
Tirara, tun, tun, tun. I'm blind now. Damn it. Uh, grab slide from URLs. Okay, so I'm lazy today. I can't see. Copy and then let's be more lazy. Defang URL. So that's the URL. Yeah, this is a nice little box. This. The fact you can run just script in a uh, controlled environment and give you all this info. I need to save. That's one thing. Save all this information in your notes. So next time you have a room or something, you don't get confused. Oh, our friend, the document. Structure storage format. Uh, office document. Is banner format okay? Office Open XML format. This is all about uh, thing. These are the dangerous ones: the macros, embedded budget, the links, exploit, hidden content. So you can read about this quickly. Analyze militia document. Okay, now let's close. Let's go out of our JavaScript. Where are we going? We're going to Word document. CD Word document. We have the file is suspicious. Now the what we use using now we use is tried we use the file identification to other try this more just to tell you what file it is. I didn't know this one before. I tell you fifty two percent is a doc generic so it gives you a probability here of things. Uh, okay that's nice 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 word document then we have this all id all id what it do it use extract basic information okay let's so let's see what it give us it give us uh, word document uh, no. i'm getting tired already uh, Value through Microsoft Word encrypted false is not encrypted. This Word document VB has a VB macro, so this is our interest part for us. Is a VB macro as single here. This document name is a species doc, is not encrypted, but it has a VB macro. Now we need to get use another tool meta only meta. What Olimeter do? Let's see what Olimeter do. Oh, it give more information there. It's also used to extract property information about the stream shown below. So, uh, what's title? It give us the author. What has created time? Property from the document summary. Where is the VB? It doesn't say anything about VB. Okay. And then to have only time. We can answer some question here, I think. This is the long this room. What is the author name of the document found during on oh, no, so Let's use uh, this question base so we don't come scrolling later on. Let's start with this. We already have the author. We know there is one VB, but I don't know how many macro. Let's see what. Uh, ten, ten. Where am I now? Which tool I'm using? Only meta, only meta, only, only meta. So we got this information now. Now we need to use only time. What only time do? Only time show the creation modification time. Okay. Only time. So this is like uh, I think they are family together. This. Uh, only time, what you do? Only time root our friend macro macro VBA. So, so you think how many macro are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we're just timing. Let's follow and only map. Polymap display the detail about different sector of the file as shown below. So suspicious file. What do you do? 
about different sectors of the file. This docker is like has too much thing, it's not like the other file with calculated attribute, uh, only header, attribute, another tool, oh that's the one that I think will import tool that will use it to analyze, or extract all the VB, okay now we, we're talking, it's clear. Let only VBA three. Oh, it's two of them. Three. Suspicious dog. Let's see. Do we? Ooh. What he found already. Uh, sub author. Oh, that's our friend. Is a PowerShell. You can whenever you see these things, you can. Uh, how we do it quickly? Let's see if he can extract PowerShell for us because if you copy it like that, I don't think we'll. So we can see there's a PowerShell and then object shell run. The bot will show the macros found within the document. The summary is special limit is shown below. Uh, and then you give us the summary. So this is a shell run. Then you have PowerShell, so all the things are there. Auto run open, auto open. Run when the web document is open. Mm. Nice, nice. The above summary showed that the document contained the code that will auto execute when using. It's a basic of so, uh, 64. Uh, I think we need this. Only them. What only them do? Can we use to check if there is any macro embedding document? So it help us to answer that question. Only see. Only dump special doc. So M is macro. So we have this macro now. Object seven and eight. So if we go to our question, we can say so what? We can say only have two. Okay, so we only answer the question here. Uh, So we have now we need this show that the seven eight contain the macro which we need to investigate further. We can also use uh, let's see the only dump minus m what minus m do Information is uh, the author. We already have the answer for that author. And all this uh, create and time and last time saved, last saved, all of that. Let's select object 7 using minus s. Okay, Olymp. Let's not do minus m. Let's do minus s and then object number 7. There's verbos. Let's see. Oh, now we got the PowerShell, our PowerShell. If we examine this VBA code, it shows that it's contain a partial scheme with basics for encoding. Can, I don't think if we can copy this in... Uh, is there a way to extract it like uh, nicer? Let's see if we can extract it later on. Viper Monkey is a tool used to analyze emu uh, it was emulating the behavior of a macro. Oh, okay, that's like we did with the JavaScript. Okay, VMonkey less suspicious, let it run oh, oh, what he did how are you my friend run and be made the embedded macro in isolated environment trying to execute IC and useful information uh, form possible intermediate IC I mean, okay, now we can copy it nicely. Run. What is this? Uh, the same things? Auto run. Oh, it give us the PowerShell. 
this copy the PowerShell here our friend oh no let's see what are the beauty things Generic code beautify. Can you beauty generic code? Oh, okay, nice. Now we have be beautify the code. Uh, what this code do? You open a socket to this. Uh, oh, it's download in some. Oh, the four by four. And then let's see. The basic uh, the basics for the code result clearly show the PowerShell code. It's no evident that is this document will try to connect to the C2 server. Oh, it's connecting to the C2 server. Uh -huh. And then what? To access a malware called Stage 2, we can use another cyber, uh, cyber chef recipe to extract the error to execute to extract the error from the output as shown below. Uh, extract URL. Yeah, but you can see the URL. Uh, that's the URL. So it's not like uh, uh, it's like you. It's like they want it to be fancier. Uh, extract URLs. Yeah. So it's like. <laughs> Okay, so so it's fine. So we can have the URL. I think is the answer to the question. Uh, that is, we have found an IOC which is a C2. Mm. It's a really nice room. This one, to be honest. So nice code. It's good to, to have. Uh, let's do the one note now. Uh, we did this, let's clear this out of that, let's see, one note, cd one note, we have a note there, invoice, and one then py. One note, what they said, the browse database, it understand how dif different IPT group have started utilizing one note document. Pay it look like malware, uh, malware what? eBay is all, the online malware database for a search. You can we can search one note malware by using the search file type. Okay, where is this search malware? File type one. I'm a human. Oh, a motorcycle. Where is the motor? See all of them motorcycles. So I don't know why. Traffic lights, bus, search. But in any case, what we search in here? Okay, we're using one note document from the above list to practice analyzing and see if we can extract some information. This is our note. Of course, we use straight to. Let's see, it it tells us now 100% is one note, so we know it's one note. Uh, our friend strings that we always do. Uh, let's say for 20 uh, line. Invoice. Ooh, well, what we have here? Well, we see this uh, dev ID. So it's an HTML here, and then we have these files. Okay, it looks like we are getting some reference to some suspicion domain and some embedded code. That's the code that files things. So now if we go to Python 3, one dump minus h. So we have this and we can apply it now. Let's try to apply it to our invoice. The PY, what's the, the invoice? Invoice file, what it tell us? 
uh, it has a PNG, and no, we have six objects, one, two, three, four, five, six, show that this document contains six objects, we can look each object one by one by the look of it, we can confirm that object five and six seem to have an HTML files, so basically now we just try one by one, but not wasting time, let's straight go to five, minus s5 minus d oh this is the okay he's doing the register here uh, he's doing the register he's writing to the registry and then these funny characters and then uh, And then I can't see uh, the shell. Let's see what it's saying. Okay, let's do that. Read it. So invoice one object. This uh, object five. Now let's open object five. Okay, so we have these funny characters, and then I think there's another thing. The, these, I, I'm trying to. Oh, this is the replace with empty space. So if we follow the logic here, so we replace this five, uh, what I call that one, with space. So let's take this. Let's remove this, put there, replace, find and replace, find uh, what we said, 5 and, uh, and then let's say beautify, okay, now we have the, what he's doing, he's doing uh, shell, is a curl, is downloading something and the output is index.png file sleep then run so you can see what he's doing so basically uh, contained on the special HTML is replacing here um, the replacement then there is a registry key is doing registry around the script and then uh, download the payload that's from this where is that uh, the payload is index.png uh, yeah let's see what is the value used to sleep uh, in the sleep function in the sleep function you have one th 5,000, uh, 15,000, then the care command is used to download the urine, saving the payload, the pin, what is the name, you can see now it's the curl output file is a program, is this one, so we have the output file, so it's not there, then how many objects are found in the invoice, invoice, um, remember we did it, how many we found? Now we found them, forgot. A six, we have six object. And we're done with the room. And then this is nice room, guys. Try to, if you have question, leave a comment. Please subscribe and like to help channel. And thank you very much. And have a good day.